I think this is the core challenge of America, is that beyond the words is a real question of policy and a real question of values and a real question of seriousness. The real question of policy. We don't always see eye to eye, do we, Newt? No, but we do agree our country must take action to address climate change. Newt Gingrich has been on both sides of a long list of issues, sometimes in the same week. I don't think right-wing social engineering is any more desirable than left-wing social engineering. With allies like that, who needs the left? It cuts Paul Ryan off at the knees. It supports the Obama administration. There is no explanation for it. And a real question of value. A question of value. If you want to put people in jail, let's look at the politicians who created the environment, the politicians who profited from the environment, the politicians who profited from the environment. Newt Gingrich on the defense for taking one and a half million bucks. After he left Congress, Freddie Mac paid Gingrich at least $1.6 million. $1.6 million, some of it just before the housing market collapsed. Newt Gingrich can ridicule Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac publicly while privately pocketing millions. That's hardcore lobbying, and that's what Newt Gingrich was doing. The politicians who profited from the environment. There are now reports about controversial ties to the health care industry. A think tank founded by Newt Gingrich collected at least 37 million dollars from major health care companies. The, the group supports individual mandate. Newt Gingrich renewed his support for an individual mandate, a key tenet of President Obama's health care law. The support for an individual mandate? Folks, don't ask me to explain this. And a real question of seriousness, serious question of seriousness. Everything that Gingrich railed against when he was in the House, he went the other way when he got paid to go the other way. You're an embarrassment to our well, party. He's flipped and flopped based on who's paying him. He's demonstrating himself to be the very essence of the Washington insiders. It's about serial hypocrisy. It's wrong to go around and adopt radically different positions because then people have to ask themselves, what will you tell me next time?